take a few minutes and explain to you what blocks are. It's a commonly used term in the model railroad industry. And uh, it's not cinder blocks, it's not uh, bricks, it's not uh, engine blocks, it's just blocks. And all a block really is, is a section of rail that's electrically isolated. Two types of blocks that we have in three rail trains. We have the accessory activation block, which is nothing more than an outside rail that is electrically isolated. So three rail trains, we have AC ground on the outside rails, and we have AC hot on the center rail, or red from your CW80 and black from your CW80. On our insulated outside rail block, this outside rail is electrically isolated, and it stays isolated until the metal wheel set from a car or a locomotive transfers the AC ground from this rail through the wheel across the axle, back down through the wheel, to this rail to complete the circuit to whatever it's connected to. A pair of cross bucks, animated gate man, etc. Once the train, the entire train, leaves the block and opens up this electrical circuit once again, this accessory, whatever it's connected to, turns off. The other type of block that we have is an insulated center rail. Where an insulated center rail is useful is in an instance where you have a siding. If you're operating either conventionally or even in a command environment where we have several sidings, one more. And these just go to bumpers and this is the main line, we place a locomotive or an animated car or a lighted car into our siding and we can continue to run our train out here. Well what's going to happen is all of the trains sitting on these sidings are still going to have power. So if we're operating conventional locomotives, whatever we try to run on the main line is going to try to run in here. So it's either going to run into the end of the bumper and continue spinning until it peels off a traction tire or derails a car and creates a short, or it's going to take off in the other direction, come out on the main line and create a derailment. So the way we prevent this is simply in center rail insulated block. We'd simply cut the center rail so that this center rail and this entire siding is electrically isolated. We do the same thing here. What this will allow us to do is take a locomotive bring it in, put it on the siding, and turn that center rail on and off. That's done through a toggle switch. The switch, or turnout, controls which direction the rails go, therefore determining which way the train goes, but an on-off switch is used to turn on and off the center rail. This can be done with a simple single pole, double throw, toggle switch. These SPDT switches are available at any electronic store, Radio Shack, um, pretty much anywhere they sell electronic components you can find a single pull double throw switch. Basically all that is, is the equivalent of a light switch in your house. When the switch is in one position, the, the single pull double throw switch looks like this. It has three legs on it. Typically the center pin would go to that center rail here. This is the end of the track. This is the center rail that goes back to our main line. This wire would connect here to our center rail. Using our toggle switch, when the switch is in one position, we turn power off to the center rail. Therefore, the locomotive stays stationary without power, does not move. Once we get the other train off the main line, put it into a siding and turn its power off, we can then flip the switch the other way, put power to the center rail, use our transformer to control the train. 
Now these on off switches are available just about everywhere. Again, they are a single pole, double throw, toggle switch. We also have these in the line out lineup. They're simply on off accessory switches. They're really not capable of handling a great deal of amperage. They'll handle two or three amps at max, but certainly not uh, sustained. So I would actually recommend getting just a regular single pull double throw toggle switch from Radio Shack or Mauser or DigiKey or similar uh, electronic store, electronic reseller, and use that. The, uh, the on off, very simple. You can turn power on here, complete the circuit turn power off, the train stays stationary. So that sums up the two types of blocks we have. Outside rail and center rail. Outside rail being used to activate accessories when the train is present, and center rail for turning the power off to a train to prevent it from running or prevent it from using power when it's uh, just sitting stationary.